Okay, what I'll do, let me just clear everything. Let me start from the beginning. Okay, I'm going to type um, list disk or press enter. Remember, do you see, if you notice here, you see that on the arrow here, it's actually showing that disk 5 was selected. Did you see it there? Huh? Because I earlier on selected it. Is that not correct? Okay. So I'll select um, disk 5. It says now selected. So the next, the next step is to create a partition. Is that not correct? Because remember, they are both unallocated, right? So I'll, I'll, sell, I'll type create partition. And I'll type primary. Primary, I'll press enter. <clears throat> so Dick Spark succeeded in creating what? The specific, specified what? Partition. So the next step, now remember when you create a partition, the next step is to what? Format. Is that not correct? Huh? Okay. So we'll click Format, space FS. FS stands for what? File system. Is that not correct? TNTFS, space label. Remember, we needed to label the volume. Is that not correct? So our label volume, we'll put um, hyphen. Then we'll type simple. I'm following the lab manual. Simple VHD2. Then we close it. Then we'll type quick, meaning you should use quick format. Huh? Like the same way on the GUI interface. So we'll, we'll type quick format. Have we done that? Stop talking. Have we done that class? Hmm? Have we done that? Have we done that? Okay. Press enter. Okay, just a minute. Where did I miss? Where did I miss? What did I miss? FS, let's go back again. Format. NTFS space label. Oh, sorry, this was my mistake. It was not supposed to be a double colon. It's supposed to be equals to equals to sign, like this. Equals to, hmm? Not yeah. Equals to. I'll press enter. Uh, okay. Let me put a space here. Why is it saying invalid? Okay. <clears throat> okay, this should be equals to two as well. Okay. So there's no double colon in any of them. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to press enter now. That's the format. Format FS equals NTFS because an argument I'm writing. Label equals dash uh, double hyphen simple VHD2 quick. So it's going to be created now. Did you see the volume has been created? Okay, let's check. Now let's check. Let me let me let me let me zoom this in. Let's check now our disk management. Now did you notice the drive has been created? 
Did you notice? If you go to your Explorer, you can confirm that the driver has been created. Okay? Now, the next step now is to, if you notice, that's your drive there. Now, the next step now is to, let's see if it should be there. Let's refresh. Okay, can any of you see your drive on your Explorer? Huh? Okay, I think in order for us to be able, let's assign it later. We're not done with it. Okay, let's assign it later. Can we go forward? Now type assign. That's why it's not displaying on Windows Explorer. So we type assign. That's the reason it's not displaying on the Windows Explorer. Then we press enter. So if you notice now, you can hear the sound. It has already assigned it later. Now if we go to Explorer, you'll be able to see the drive there, drive G. 187 that's it so let's do the same for let's do the same for the, the second disk so click list disk let me put this you say list disk you say list disk enter list disk so now we we'll select disk 6. So we we'll select disk 6. We we'll press enter. So the 6 is selected. So we we'll type F. Sorry, we we'll type um, create partition. Is that not correct? Create partition. Primary. Create a partition primary space. Let me push this up a little bit so that I can see what I'm doing. So I press enter. It succeed. It succeeded. So we we'll, we'll type format. Fs equals nt. Fs space label equals space double hyphen. <coughs> Simple VHD three, then close it. So after typing that now, the next step is to what press enter, and it will automatically create the volume. Okay, it has created that partition. Then we type assign so that it can assign a letter. The reason for the assignment of the letter is for us to be able to view it on the Windows Explorer. So as I press enter, you notice the sound; it's already assigned. So if we go to disk management now, we'll see our drive has been created as active partition. We'll go to our explorer, we'll be able to see drive. A simple VHD3. And you can see the files they are there. So guys, that is how to create a virtual hard drive and create a virtual uh, a primary partition using a virtual hard drive. Uh, did I teach you guys how to shrink? Did we, we, did we shrink with um, command prompt? Okay, let, let me shrink the size of one gig. Let me shrink it. So I'm going to type... Uh, I want to shrink to, to create another partition. So what we're going to do now, we're going to shrink the volume. So I'm going to show you now how to shrink the volume using command prompt. Okay, let's go to the command prompt. I want to shrink this one gig to 500, uh, to, to maybe 200 or 300 megabytes. So 
let's go back to the command prompt. Uh, let me maximize this. Let me zoom it so that you guys can see what I'm typing. Okay, I'm going to type here. Listen attentively. Um, we'll type get. Get dash disk. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me. Okay, let me let me go out of here. Because I want to use the PowerShell. That's that's the that's the command prompt. So I want to use. PowerShell itself, so I'm going to go back and reopen PowerShell. PowerShell, run as administrator. I don't want to use it as Dixpads, so run as administrator. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to type uh, get disk. Can you see? Has it brought out the disk? Hmm? Okay. If you notice there, if you move your mouse, it shows you your total partition size. Are you getting me? It tells you the operational status if it's online. And it tells you the name. Of the drive. So this is a hard drive from VirtualBox, and this is your Microsoft Virtual Disk, and this is your VirtualBox. Remember, these two drives are the partitions, right? Five and six. Is that not correct? Okay. So let's select. Let's select five. No, no, was it? No, let's select six. That's where we have one gig. Okay. Okay, no, it's fine. We just type uh, get partition. Type get partition. Get partition. Okay, these are all the partition there. We're looking for disk 6, which is 1 gig. Okay, that's correct. So we're going to type resize. Resize dash partition space dash disk number the one word space six that's a disk number then we say partition number space one dash size then we put our size at we put it as 500 megabytes bracket close then we press enter okay let's now go and confirm if it has resized the volume now, if we go to disk management, do we see allocated space? Huh? Do we see allocated space? Class, do you see allocated space? Yes. Exactly. That's what I wanted to show you. So that is how to resize the volume within, um, within Windows. Okay, that's it. Of course, all you need to do is to format and create a new volume on it. Is that not correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, that's that's all for uh, creating um, 